Global tea companies are committed to sustainable sourcing. European consumers increasingly buy certified sustainable tea, often without even knowing. The cooperation of governments, companies and NGOs has improved. They now jointly organise sustainable production and consumption of tea. Under the IDH Tea Improvement Programme, almost 450,000 small-scale tea farmers were trained in good agricultural practices and 230,000 were certified or verified. Market demand for certified tea supported tea smallholders to improve their tea growing practices, increasing their yields significantly. Most progress has been made in Kenya, the world's biggest export market for tea. 538 farmer field schools were set up. All 560,000 smallholders of the Kenyan Tea Development Agency will be certified in 2013. Farmers raise their yields and quality of production. There are positive impacts on working conditions in tea factories and on health and safety of tea producers. Water streams have recovered, net income has increased and water management has improved. KTDA manages two factories in Rwanda. Will the farmer ownership model and the farmer field school methodology be successful outside of Kenya? From Kenya to the largest tea production region in the world, Asia. In Indonesia, for example, 12,000 tea farmers are now certified against the Indonesian Lestari standard that is accepted by local stakeholders. That's all great, but we can't stop here. To transform the market, we must scale up our efforts and make sure meaningful, positive impact is proven, which leaves us with some questions. Can we make sustainable tea production a self-propelling mechanism with a proven business case for smallholder tea farmers? How can we implement large-scale sustainability in the tea markets of India, Indonesia and China? How to increase local ownership? And maybe the most important question, how can we create and prove impact on more complex economic, social and environmental issues.